So, there is a baldness cure in the works that may be on the shelf soon within the next two years. Scientists claim that a hair lotion that cures baldness by stopping the effects of a single guilty enzyme could hit the market within two years. They found that a single enzyme has a major role to play in male pattern baldness as experienced by the Prince William. The researchers are already in the talks with pharmaceutical firms about making the product, which would work by stopping the effects of a single guilty enzyme. The U.S.-based dermatologist announced earlier this year that they had found that an enzyme called prostaglandin D2, or PGD2, instructed follicles to stop producing hair. Scientists identified it by screening 250 genes implicated in hair loss, the Telegraph reported. George Castarellis, head of dermatology at Pennsylvania University, said that the one responsible for levels of PGD2 played the major role. He said he was now in talks with several drug firms about creating the anti-baldness drug. Drugs are already available in the market that reduce PGD2 levels as it has been implicated in asthma, holding out that the hope that developing a related product for baldness could be speedy. Katsaralis and his colleagues found that in 17 men with hair loss, PGD2 levels were three times higher in bald spots as compared to hairy areas. We really do think if you remove the inhibition caused by PGD2, you get longer hair. Kosterlis said earlier when the study was published in the journal Science Transitional Medicine. He said the finding raised the possibility of not only stopping hair loss, but of bald men also being able to regrow full heads of hair. So, um, <clears throat> this is kind of encouraging news for people that are bald. And also, until they actually come out with this, and then we can see, you know, for sure that this is actually regrowing full heads of hair, um, there's some other alternative things you can do naturally to help your hair. You can look into site soy isoflavones. Um, you can look into soy and cayenne. Curcumin. Green tea. Flax ligands, Norway spruce ligands, and sal palmetto and astaxanthin combination. All these help to work by lowering DHT, which will help your hair. You know, and then basically all those things I just mentioned, along with putting good oils on your hair and essential oils like lavender, rosemary, coconut oil, olive oil, you know. Those all will help your hair too. Eclipti Ecliptica, um, amla oil, those are Ayurvedic oils that are really good for your hair. So there's a lot of, you know, different things that you could do for your hair. And, uh, you know, switching over to a safe herbal based shampoo without sodium monosulfate is a good thing to do. And then, of course, just eating a really good, nutritious diet, you know, whole foods, plant based diet and you'll get you know all the nutrients that you need for fast growing hair you know so basically the bottom line is the only thing that most of us can do now is to, to go to the natural route to help our hair you know salt palmetto extract nettle root and faux tea are three really great ones um, that should be the cornerstone of everybody's treatment when they're dealing with hair loss and then the addition of flaxseed uh, cayenne pepper and perhaps soy are all really great things you can use to help encourage hair growth and to prevent hair loss so hopefully this uh, news makes all of you excited and gives you hope for the future I'm pretty sure that they will actually create this um, here and whether it will totally regrow both heads of hair is yet to be seen but they seem to strongly believe that it will. So, um, it's not to say that DHT still doesn't play a role in hair loss because it, it, it does. There's many different factors that go into male pattern baldness, but this new one, this prostaglandin um, thing, seems to be one of the big ones responsible for losing your hair, according to these researchers. So, um,
hold on to what hair you have, and hopefully within the next year or two, uh, it'll be a thing of the past. Alright, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like it, please like, favorite, and subscribe, and I'll see you again. Bye.